Beats, boy. I think I asked too many questions the last week. What would you like to see from Joseph Parker against his uh, upcoming fight with Alexander Flores? I'd, I'd just like to see a very, uh, a very explosive, a very powerful a Joseph Parker who lets his hands go. I know that I've got a very motivated Joseph Parker at the moment. I've got a Joseph Parker who's under more pressure at the moment than at any stage in his professional career. Now, this fight is about... Joe's career, and it's very important for us that we get the right result here. Do you feel he's punching a bit harder now? You know, I believe that this this has been, uh, as far as Joe's strength and conditioning, out of the three camps this year, this has been probably the most productive one. I think Joe's growing into his man body, and he feels stronger than at any stage. And I think, you know, when you look at him today, his back has got a lot bigger. Um, so I think, you know, Joe's really starting to pull out. At the age of 26, you know, I expect to see him to start pulling out now. How much analysis have you been able to do on this guy, given the limited footage available? Well, you know, as you said, there's limited footage. You know, look, I know, I know Alexander. Um, I spoke to his trainer, Michael Love, five years ago. We were going to bring him into camp for sparring. And um, it didn't end up, didn't happen. But um, look, he, was, he started his career on a very similar path to Joe. Uh, he was a, a young guy with a lot of talent, didn't have the promotional assistance that Joseph Parker has had, and that's been his biggest hindrance. Uh, he never had the opportunities. He wasn't placed in big fights. And, and that's what makes this guy so dangerous. This is his opportunity to step up. He's looking at Joseph Parker, he's looking at Joe coming off um, losses in his last two fights, and he likes the position that we're in. He knows that the pressure is on Joe, there is no pressure on him, and that's what makes Alexander Flores a very dangerous guy for us. He says he's coming for the knockout, he believes that's the only way he's going to win. Does that leave him a bit vulnerable, potentially? Look, um, he backs himself. He sat in my gym in Vegas about a week ago, and he goes, you know, this is not going. This is not going the distance. Joe's either going to quit on the stall or I'm going to knock him out. And I'm sort of thinking to myself, well, uh, you know, good on you for your uh, for your confidence, but Anthony Joshua couldn't do it. And Dylan White couldn't do it. And we know that this guy is not an Anthony Joshua, and he's not a Dillian White. Um, but you know, he's come. He's coming to New Zealand with a lot of confidence. He, he's coming for for the opportunity, and he realised that this fight could change his life. Um, I think we'll get the very best Alexander Flores that anyone's seen. When I saw him a week ago in the gym, uh, I saw the photos when he was in New Zealand uh, prior to starting camp. A totally different guy. This guy looks like he's been uh, training the gym down. He's in very, very good shape. Zombies, boy.